All right, guys, I'm gonna attempt to do this. Um, I'm gonna tell you how to do, what we're gonna do today is a, basically testing chemicals. It's called a jar test to see if these chemicals are, are compatible with each other. So uh, the way you do this, or the way I do this, and this is just an example. I'm only, I've got 32 ounces of water in each and this has 32 ounces of water and four ounces of 12 iron. 32 ounces of water, four ounces of sugar cow. 32 ounces of water, four ounces of 18.34. And this is straight 10.34.0. I don't sell this on my website. I'm just using this for an example. Uh, so the way you would do this is whatever you're, say you're spraying at a gallon per thousand. Uh, the way I would do this is I would put, you know, a gallon of water in it and then whatever you're spraying, say if you're doing three ounces of this and three ounces of that, you would put it in that gallon of water and mix it up and see if it's compatible or not. Uh, if it stays in liquid form, it's compatible. Or the it would be better if you're spraying out a gallon per thousand to, you know, leave this six ounces short if you're doing, or eight ounces short if you're doing four a piece. If you get what I'm trying to say there, that way it'll actually equal a gallon. Uh, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Um, so, like I mentioned, 1834, sugar cow, 12 iron. Uh, and this is straight uh, 10340, so phosphorus. Typically, calcium and phosphorus don't mix. So I am going to pour this. I've actually never done this with this pro these two products, so uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to pour this four ounces of 10340 into this calcium. So here we go. stir it up and I can already see this is having issues I just want to mix it up good So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit for uh, 15 minutes. And that's what you guys need to do too when you're doing this. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to wash it out every time. And I'm going to pour different products into different solutions. So I, what I'll do here is I'll pour uh, four ounces of 12 iron into this 18.34. So I'm going to stop it here. I'll get four ounces of 12 iron. I'll wash this out, four ounces of 12 iron, and put it in here. All right, there's my four ounces of 12 iron. This is still sitting there. It's only been a minute since I uh, stopped the video, and I'm starting back up. i wash this out. And let me repeat this again. I don't recommend you using four ounces of 12 iron per thousand if you're buying this from me. I'm just doing four ounces as an example. Uh... Anytime, also, anytime you're doing this, this is also why I recommend spraying at a higher carrier volume, like a gallon per thousand. Obviously, the more water that's in there, the better stuff's going to mix up and be compatible with each other. But I'm just trying to show you guys, you know, how to do a jar test. I mean, I probably shouldn't have brought out all these products because it's going to be a pain to do this but it's all right so we got 12 ounces of or 12 ounces four ounces of 12 iron and this is the 1834 and it's 32 well it was 32 ounces of water until i put four ounces in it of the 1834 in it so i got that in there 
and you can see right here on the stick this is what I stirred the uh, calcium and that phosphorus together with so I'm gonna stir this up See, that one's kind of looking a little iffy right there. So I, I just don't know myself on this one. Normally calcium and phosphorus don't mix. Uh, this one, even though it's got some grass clippings in it, is completely fine. Uh, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put, this is another one that may not mix. I'm not sure, I'm gonna put four ounces of 12 iron in uh never mind i'm gonna put four ounces of sugar cow in this 12 iron because we haven't done that yet so i'm gonna go wash this out and i'll be right back all right here i am wasting my product for you guys so that's right at if i could hold it level right at four ounces of sugar cow this is the 12 iron Stir this one up. We're gonna let that one sit. So let's look at this uh, the the sugar cow and the thirty or the ten thirty four zero. You see, it's kind of chunky down there in the bottom now you could probably get away with this if you use this you know keep it agitated i imagine it's gonna do it i'll be honest with you i ain't found too much stuff from plant food company that don't mix that's why this stuff is so good uh, i'm just being honest i have not found much that don't mix together 12 iron and the 1834 is looking completely fine. And that's only in 32 ounces of water. So, and if you do this, you know, obviously you're not going to be, have a setup like this right here. You're going to just going to be, uh, you know, if you're spraying out a gallon per thousand, put you a, 64 ounces in it and then if you're spraying whatever you're spraying the rate at if you're spraying the 1834 at six ounces per thousand and the 12 iron at two ounces per thousand then pour six ounces of the 1834 into your container pour two ounces of the 12 iron in there and if it all works together then you can go ahead and put that in your backpack sprayer so you don't have to you know instead of throwing it away you can you know you just add that to your a sprayer and then you know you can use it um, so I'm gonna let these sit for a few minutes and then I'll be back and then we'll uh, we'll test something else so we've we put the 1834 and the 12 iron in that one and this one's got the uh, sugar cow in it and the 10340 1034 zero and the sugar cow and this one is the 12 iron and the sugar cow so i'll be right back after this sits a little bit and we'll uh we'll add one more thing to the 1834 one all right it's been about 15 minutes um so remember, right here we have the uh, 12 iron and the sugar cow. The sugar cow and the 10340, the 1834, and the 12 iron. So, what I'm going to do now, well, I'm going to show you this right here. 
So this is the the 12 iron and the sugar cow. So there's nothing, I mean, this is looking pretty, pretty good here. Sorry, it's hard to hold this. And this tells me, you know, these two will be compatible with each other. That's completely fine. There's nothing stuck on the stick. So I'm gonna wipe this off so I don't contaminate this other. So let's look at the sugar cow and the I don't want to move it. Let's look at the sugar cow in the 1034-0. Look at there. This is what you don't want. This is why you do a jar test. This is what you do not want. Just like I, just like I thought, typically... Phosphorus and calcium don't mix. So, you don't want that in your sprayer. Now, would it do that if you had a high spray volume? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's mix it up and just see what happens, see if it's chunky like it. I mean, if you could keep it agitated, it would probably work. That's just a testament to these products. Uh, anything else, typically, it would just a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm not selling the 1034-0 anyway. Let me wipe this crud off here. And we'll go over here to... The 12 iron and the 18.34, nothing. Nothing. Good to go. Good to go with that right there. And that small amount of water. Remember, I only had 32 ounces of water in there. So now, I'm going to take this sugar cow. Four ounces of sugar cow, and I'm going to pour it in the 18.34 and the 12 iron. Going to stir it up good. See what happens here. This will be the last one I do. I'm just showing you guys an example. And let me show you one more thing here about these products. Every one of these products has got the pH on it. Uh, where is it at? Right there. pH, 7.9. The 12 iron, super low pH, 1.7. Uh, the sugar cow, 0.5 and 1. <clears throat> and I know I did not do this, but the best way to do this is start with your highest pH items. In this case, out of these three, it would be 18.34. You put that in. And if you were spraying the 12 iron, you would put the pH that's 1.7 in. And then if you were spraying it with the sugar cow, you put the lowest pH in. You want to gradually drop your pH level of the solution. So, um, you know, sometimes with these products, me being spraying, I'm me that I'm spraying at two gallons per thousand square feet. I might run five, six products at one time, get it over with. You know, if I'm if I'm doing that. So, we'll let this one sit here, and I'll catch back up with this one. All right, we're back again here. Uh, 
I want to correct myself on this one also. Uh, I did initially start with 1834 in this one and I added the 12 iron and then I added the sugar cow. So, you know, what I was telling you about starting with the higher pH and working your way down with the lower pH stuff, this was done correctly. So this one, 1834, 12 iron, we know that's compatible. We added the sugar cow to it, four ounces. Let's see what we got here. Completely compatible. So, uh, <clears throat> even though the 1834 does have some phosphorus in it, you know, ev you know, three percent, it's not enough to for the the sugar cow to react to it. But again, 34 percent phosphorus in the sugar cow in this one. Is what you get and then wipe that off the 12 iron just the 12 iron in the sugar cow ah we did get a little bit of that just a little bit but that goes back in solution really really easy so I wouldn't be concerned with that one this one I would be concerned with see all that down in the bottom look at all that look at that right there this one yeah you wouldn't want to spray that right there Anyway, guys, I just wanted to do a video on how you do this and, and the importance of doing this, uh, especially with stuff you've never sprayed before. You know, I've been spraying all this stuff for years. Um, I don't spray the 1034 Zero anymore. Uh, I've done that when I had that one area. I bought that because for one area that was really low on phosphorus. It's, it's fine now, so, you know, that's why that's there. So we know 1834, 12 iron, and a sugar cow, it's compatible. We'll just go ahead and we'll pour it in this one right here just to see that there's nothing, nothing in the bottom of it here. So that one's good. We know this one's got some bad stuff in it. So there you go. If you guys got any questions, just comment below. I know this video, you know, I, I probably shouldn't have, probably should have just done two products for three products into one instead of doing all this. I hope this don't confuse you guys, but I just wanted to show you what happens when you have two that are not compatible and you know i accomplished my goal there so it's better to do this instead of put it in your backpack sprayer or your, any kind of sprayer you got and then it gum it up like like this one right here again so anyway i appreciate you guys uh if you want any of these products or or my grass seed it's primetimefescue.com. We'll see you in the next video. There's you one more look at what you don't want. We'll check you later.